Uh, is that Nick, about me? Is he yeah, talking about he me? He called you a cosmic culinary force <laughs> to be reckoned with. That is Nick Ray Bars in the uh, in the in the Roadshow Kitchen. The cosmic Ave force. Cosmic force. <laughs> Avenue N is the restaurant. We don't even have to tell you, but we're gonna. Uh, chili crisp broccoli there it on, is. The, on the menu today. Yes, What's happening, Will? Nothing. You know, chili crisp broccoli gets the crowd going. It does get the crowd. Going. It is. You know, broccoli is one of the most basic vegetables. Right. It's often the starter vegetable. Right. One of the first ones you have when you're a kid. I like broccoli. I love broccoli. Yes. I'm obsessed with it. And my wife is obsessed with chili crisp. Mm -hmm. Chili crisp is like a Chinese condiment. Right. And it has a little bit of spice. So, I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can make it, a lot of different ingredients you yep. can put it in. We're doing a very basic version of chili crisp today. Don't you, isn't this, is this one of the things that's on the menu at uh, the, the restaurant? No, oh, we do don't have, have this. That? We have it's the Kung Pao Brussels sprouts. That, okay, yeah. that's what I'm thinking yeah. of then. So okay. that's delicious. So and something very much like something this. Something like that. You're getting your vegetables, but you're adding a whole bunch of flavor to them as got well. It, got so it. we're going to make a very basic version of chili crisp today. We have two types of chilies here, mm -hmm. and we also have some garlic and shallots. What we're going to do is we're going to slice the garlic very thin, mince the shallots and dry it slightly in the oven. Then we're gonna okay. mix it with some of these crushed peanuts and I have a whole bunch of spices here. Nick, this smells so good. Yeah, that's very fragrant. And that's Ooh, where a lot wow, of the flavor wait. comes from. So we have star anise in there. We have some uh, Szechuan peppercorns. We have some green cardamom. Szechuan. Szechuan <laughs> peppercorns. And we have a little bit of oil and salt. All right, we're gonna mix all that together. Now, this is a very quick version of this sauce. Okay. Oftentimes, this sauce can take days to make if you're doing it the proper way. And you we, can we, use, got we got no time. We got no time. We got <laughs> days I gotta get here. here after 10 o'clock. We gotta get going. So it's gonna be a fabulous flavor packed thing. Of course, you know, at the end, I'm gonna have a couple little special treats, but basically, it's as simple as taking this chili crisp, which has right. nice texture, because by drying out some of the garlic and shallots, mm -hmm. you're adding this crisp to it. So you get the chilies from the spice and the, and the chilies that you're using, yep. and then you're getting this crispness from some of the dried vegetables. So it adds texture mm. and it adds a little bit of heat as well. So you. flavorful, flavorful stuff. Yeah. And like I said, broccoli, you know, first grade vegetable right there. Right. You know, one of the first, it's like a sliced cucumber when you're a kid. And broccoli gets a bum wrap. It's a horrible bum wrap. Uh, Put me on a crudite bar, buddy, and, and I'm, I start I'm popping with, them. I'm fine with broccoli. I love broccoli. And with can't this get on enough. it, maybe yeah. it's even, it's no, even better. We're going to have a great time We're going to put this together, and then we'll talk about the Runford 5K Ooh. as well. Yes, yes back sir. to you. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Oh, or if you're looking for a different way to kind of spice up, zhuzh up Zhuzh. that side that maybe sometimes get brushed to the side. Yeah. What is it with kids and broccoli? I don't get it. It's, I you used know, to love it. I used to think I was going to eat the leaves it, off the yeah. tree and just... There was a while I just ate the tops yes. of the broccoli. Yes, but now, you, now you're, you're eating stem and all. Yes. Right? Because it's, it's... It's so delicious and good for so you. It's so delicious. I, it is absolutely, hands down, no matter what I've said over my decade plus here, it is hands down my favorite vegetable. Okay. I love it. Uh, so much. I just love its versatility. I love that mm -hmm. you, you know, the ways, different ways you can cook it. So what we did today was I gently tossed with oil, salt, pepper, yeah. and then I put it in a very high 500 degree confection oven so that you get those sort of charred tips on it. And if That's you've never cooked design. broccoli this way, I highly recommend it. Big time. So delicious. Yep. And it's funny how just the cooking technique can really kind of change the flavor. Of totally it. Way different it. than if you're steaming it. 100% correct. Yeah. Totally changes the flavor. So then, and of course, we made the, the chili crisp, which is um, a nice a nice combination of chilies, oil, you can hear it. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? You hear that crisp? Oh my Everything gosh. dried out really nice. Yeah. yeah, so it's gonna add a lot of texture to this dish. So let's combine the two main ingredients here. Okay. So, uh, you know, chili crisp is such a, such a hot condiment right now. And uh, if you don't want to go through the trouble of making it, which I would not blame you, it's mm -hmm. relatively readily available. Okay. We have it at the pantry, a couple different types. Oh, so good. So there's a lot of different... Um, what do you not have at the pantry? We Well, you know, you as seen on the Roadshow last week, like, wasn't that such a great uh, piece that you put <laughs> I'm together? I'm going to say yes. Yeah. I, <laughs> you did amazing. <laughs> and Eric did yes. amazing. <laughs> and that was all you guys. No. And you really made the store look great. Well, you talk about it so much that if you haven't had a chance to, to watch it, go to our website totally. to it and take a look because you have everything in we there. We have everything. We have everything and we have, like I said, a couple different types of this and it goes so fast. And Tracy eats this all the time. She puts it she puts that stuff. She puts this stuff. <gasps> uh, she, she puts that stuff on everything. We are a family <laughs> yes, show. It's a fam so now let's go ahead and put some of that stuff right here. Okay. okay? Um, and we have the yeah. chili crisp. So it's chilies, dried garlic, mm -hmm. um, dried shallots, a little oh, bit of oil. Kick. Yeah, it has a great kick. But you're going to be 
you're going to be surprised by this because you would think with that much let's go with it just a little bit more you would think with that much uh you know the we put the Szechuan peppercorns in there you Oof. would think that it would be overpowering Very but spicy. wait till you see no 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 and i know you and i know you like spice i do uh, but i but but you don't i don't think you love insane spice you like manageable spice oh, well yes and i also want to taste whatever the spice Bingo. is on Bingo. you know i hate when you get something that's so spicy that all you've done is like blown your yep. taste buds off and you can't even detect what's underneath it i know i know this is not going to be the case here today so let's go on with this here let me grab a pair of tongs and let's go on with this here so i put a little bit of roasted garlic aioli on the bottom mm. because that's gonna just soothe the beast a little bit here even though like i said it's not very hot and you can see that it doesn't look like it's overpowering no. even at first glance it kind of has a little bit of a uh like it's not totally coating because it has just a little bit of oil. Yeah. And These remind me of the Brussels sprouts that are on your menu. I know. I had a feeling that you guys were going to pick up on mm -hmm. that. But they are, uh, it has a very different flavor profile than that. Okay. So I'm going to put that right there and I'm going to let you just try All that right. mix. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to jump in with a fork. So it's got texture. Don't be afraid. It's, oh, per I'll it's perfectly cooked scoop. broccoli. Don't overcook broccoli. Big thing. You know, it gets a little mm. bit mushy. But isn't that fabulous? Mm. And you feel the texture? Isn't it great? Not a lot of heat there. No, not a lot of heat. You bring up a great point. Not a lot of heat. So let's I like the heat, but this is so, no, very it's, handleable. It's manageable. And I'm going to put on just a little bit more. And sure. then I've got a few other things just to turn this into a little bit more of an Avenue N style dish. I made a little bit of this black bean. This is like a house black bean sauce. Huh. Okay, so that's going to go on. That's going to add a little bit of vinegar because I kind of fermented these black beans. Mm. That's going to add a little bit of vinegar so you have a touch of acidity to the dish. And what else do you have? I'm just going to put on a touch of crushed peanuts for okay. texture a little bit of sesame seed Yum. and you know i always add a fresh element so i'm going to use cilantro today wow and not only does it look great but all those ingredients so purposeful like you said a little crunch a little vi vinegar a little a little this a little, a little that. of that and that's true because everything has a reason to yeah. be on that plate and there's a reason for it there's a reason you should be making this at home go make it where do we go for the recipe well you can go right to roadshow.com there's quite a few recipes there isn't there well done yes thank you <laughs>